Salt, whether it's table, Himalayan, rock or sea, is made up of sodium chloride. It's the biggest source of sodium in our diets and it's the sodium that's harmful to our health. So whilst our bodies need some salt, too much can raise our blood pressure, putting us at increased risk of suffering from strokes and heart attacks, some of the biggest causes of death and illness worldwide. We're recommended to consume less than a teaspoon of salt a day, but on average we're eating about a third more than this. In fact, we only need about this much of salt for our bodies to function properly. It's easy to assume that we don't eat a lot of salt, but what we aren't often aware of is just how much salt the food industry is adding to our everyday food. Bread is the biggest source of salt in our diet. Now this isn't because it's overly salty, but rather because we eat so much of it throughout the day. Other key sources of salt in our diet include rice, pasta and pizza dishes. But it's worth noting that salt is present in most foods, including those that might surprise you, such as salads, dips and even hot chocolate. Restaurant and takeaway meals also tend to have much more salt than a typical home-cooked meal. And don't be fooled, healthier sounding vegetarian or even plant-based products, including meat-free burgers, sausages and mints, can conceal high levels of salt too. All our food comes ready salted. This means it's all too easy to eat more salt than we mean to. Foods don't necessarily have to taste salty to be salty. This is why many people find it difficult at first to reduce their salt intake, as salt is more likely already in the foods that we buy or eat in a restaurant. To add to the confusion, very similar food products have varying levels of salt. Most products in store now have front of pack colour coded labelling for fat, saturated fat, sugars and salt, which helps to tell at a glance whether a food is high in salt, indicated by a red label, amber for medium or green for low in salt. Ketchup, for example, can have different levels of salt depending on the brand, so being able to pick up two brands and compare with a quick glance is really useful. But not all companies choose to display their information like this, preventing us from making the healthier choice. That's why Food Switch, the free health app, is really useful as it helps you find the lower salt options. Simply scan the barcode of a food and it will instantly give you the colour-coded labels for fat, saturated fat, sugars and salt, as well as healthier swaps within a similar category. There are many ways that you can gradually reduce salt in your diet for a healthier lifestyle and it's surprising how quickly your taste buds can adapt. Avoid adding salt to your food when cooking or at the table. Try experimenting with different flavours by adding fresh herbs and spices. All salt raises our blood pressure and damages our health. Choose products with more green and amber labels on pack. And ask your waiter for no salt to be added to your meal.